if a postmenopausal woman with low libido begins testosterone replacement therapy at whatever the right dose is for her, what is the typical benefit? What are you seeing in clinical studies that people are experiencing as a kind of quantifiable benefit? And what percentage of subjects are responders versus non-responders? I'll do the responders first. Most of the studies have not quantified the proportion of responders versus non-responders, but the few studies that have suggest that after screening women, now don't forget, well, the women who go in these studies, they're excluded if they've got any other major medical conditions, if they have poor relationships with their partner on interview, if they've got moderate depressive symptoms. So women are otherwise pretty healthy, pretty good relationship with partner. About 60% of women improve in their sexual interest and responsiveness and arousal. About 20% don't change and about 20% get worse. And they get worse probably because testosterone had nothing to do with their sexual function. But the biggest study I did was 800 women recruited from Europe, Australia and North America, randomly allocated to testosterone or placebo. We saw an average, an increase in one satisfactory sexual event per month. However, if you then broke the research down and looked at the responders versus non-responders, the responders had up to an average of four extra satisfactory events per month. So you'll even get women who are less sexually active, maybe, on the treatment because it's absolutely not working for them. And then you've got the women who it's really working for. 